Now, pausing the use of the J and J vaccine has had a ripple effect in clinics across our region. Jane Carabello reports on how some sites are handling the change. After an unexpected day-long closure following the CDC and FDA's recommendation to pause use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, Esperanza Community Vaccination Center in Hunting Park is ready to reopen today, switching from Johnson & Johnson to the Pfizer vaccine. People out here getting sick. They got to help, they got to help somebody some way, somehow. Philadelphia health officials say all COVID-19 vaccine clinics in the city will stop using Johnson & Johnson until further notice. Clinics that were using the vaccine have either switched to another option or will close temporarily. We're kind of getting that, do we cancel, do we reschedule? Worry in the suburbs, too. Those scheduled to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at the Westchester Government Center yesterday kept their appointments but switched to Moderna. I was just happy not to have to reschedule again. Chester County officials say all clinics will stay open this week, offering Moderna to anyone scheduled to get Johnson & Johnson. But Montgomery County's J&J &J clinics have been suspended today, along with Bucks County's sole J&J site in Warwick Square and Delco's site at Delaware County Community College. A little concerned just because of the blood clotting. Across the Delaware Valley, officials say Johnson & Johnson currently makes up roughly 10% of doses given so far. State officials add that despite this pause, they're still on track to meet vaccination goals and emphasize that the overall risks for those who did get the J&J &J shot are low. One in a million people receiving this vaccine have been affected by this issue. The adverse reactions being investigated appear to be extremely rare. Hopefully it's just for uh, a short period of time. Back here at Esperanza, this is a vital location serving neighborhoods with some of the lowest vaccination rates in the entire city. Appointments and walk-ups are welcome. In Hunting Park, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News.